Hi everyone, Tanya here. Welcome back to February's Discount Food Grocery Haul. Hope you guys enjoy these. It seems like you guys are really liking these. And welcome to new subscribers. If you are not subscribed, if you have not subscribed, I hope you take the chance to do so before you leave. And let's get into this video. If you'd like to see more um, about different discount grocery hauls that I've done or more about it and stuff like that, I will try to leave um, a playlist up below or up above <laughs> if you guys want to check it out and see. But let's get into everything and I'll show you what I got. So here is everything that I got. It's always I try to have you guys pause. And if you want, try a guess down below how much do you think I spend for everything. Um, but let's get into it. I didn't really have, my main goal was basically just produce this time um, because we were pretty much out of a lot of it and we've kind of just been munching a lot on produce lately. It's pretty an extra kick the more than usual so I thought I would show you guys what we got and yeah so I'll just start over here and we just were in need of some bread this wasn't like on super discount it was 250 or 249 or something like that a loaf but we just needed some we were out so I got some split top wheat bread and then this I got it's uh, mango papaya chutney I think it was like two dollars or 250 the reason I got this is um, this is a good way so I'm trying out some new recipes um, from a new recipe book and it kind of calls for chutney or like chili jam and stuff like that and um, I sometimes find that discount food store is a really great way to try out specialty items that might be maybe more expensive at the store and it's kind of hard to invest you know like seven eight dollars for like one of these or whatever it may be and then what if you don't like it or what if you, you know you don't end up using it you kind of like a waste of money and you feel bad so this is kind of a good way to try out. Um, I saw this, I just happened to come across it and I just thought, hey, perfect, I've been looking for this and so I decided to get it again. It was like $2.50 and I really liked the company too. I think it was started by two women and it has pretty great ingredients. So I really like that. It didn't have a lot of sodium, so that was good to see. Um, but yeah, so just recommend if you're kind of looking to specialty dips or salsas or even like dressing stuff like that, um, it's a good place to check that out, at least at my discount food store. Now here we have a lot of produce. Um, this is just a dollar. So they have dollar trays at my discount store where basically there's this shelves along this wall where everything there is a dollar. And it might be stuff that's like really, really overstocked even for them or that it's getting ready to like, it's gonna go bad soon. So they wanna get rid of it. And so I just got this cause we use up tomatoes anyway. So I got those. I also got one of these packs. Um, I believe it was 59 cents for this one was two for a dollar, but I just got one I didn't want the other one to go bad before we could finish it So it's 59 cents for this salad next we needed um, some more apples. These were two for five dollars So a really great price for apples. Um, I got organic baby carrots. These were a dollar 49 I think but um, Again, we would go through baby carrots pretty fast at our house. Um, I got a thing of cherry tomatoes these I think were a dollar or Again, like $1.49, I feel like. Um, these were two for $3, so $1.50 each, which is a really great price for strawberries. Um, and then I also got a thing of raspberries. I think these were $1.49 as well, kind of longer carton. I got a thing of avocados. I think these were, the whole bag was 3 or $4. I can't remember exactly. Um, and then I also got, normally I don't buy like sliced and packaged apples. Like I usually just buy these. But I don't know, okay, maybe, um, <laughs> tell me down below, maybe I'm not the only one. But especially like at a discount store, like the thing is if it doesn't get sold and people don't buy it, the food, you know, it'll go bad and it gets thrown away eventually, which just like makes me sad. So I'm like, we'll eat these sliced apples. And for me, since it's already like at the discounted stage of its life, I don't mind, I guess, buying it in plastic and the extra packaging. So these were three packages for a dollar. So I was like, sweet, I'll buy them. The kids will eat them like today and tomorrow for snacks and lunch. So I don't know, maybe I just like feel bad for the food that's gonna get thrown away. I'm like, no. And again, it's a pretty good price, like three packages for a dollar. So I was like, I'm getting it this time. But let me know down below. Does anyone else feel bad for like food that's gonna get thrown away? Or like, I don't know, maybe that's a thing. I feel like I have that. <laughs> Um, I also got these. I really like the Made in Nature brand. I've tried a lot of stuff from them. I know they have it at Costco as well. These are the Fu Fusion Superberry Super Snacks. And I really like because it has like dried cherries and dried goji berries. And I think this was, again, $1.49 or something. It's like a little pouch. Great for snacks. So definitely I'm excited to try these. I also got two bags of oranges just for snacking or also making fresh squeezed orange juice. These were two for... 
five dollars or four dollars i can't remember um then i also got these organic mini waffles they were a dollar 49. i got this um string cheese with whole milk and then this papaya was a dollar oh i think these were a dollar 49 this was a dollar or a dollar quarter or something like that this was a dollar then I got some of the spaghetti. This is my husband's favorite. It's the kind that's at um at Costco, but they had it for a dollar. So I just got a few extra. We are not out, but just to stock up for some more. Um, as I know he likes it. So if I can get it for cheaper there, it's a better deal for us long term. I got some grapes, and then I also, you guys, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know that my favorite granola or families is the Love Crunch granola, which normally we buy at Costco, and we are almost out. But I noticed this, I just came across this. That's the thing with the discount store you sometimes you don't really know what you're gonna find but they have this and I don't know if it's probably from a bulk bin somewhere maybe but they have this for $2.99 a pound so I think this was like $3.56 so I got a whole bunch of pouch sorry of granola the exact one that we like um sorry let me scoot over oh, out of breath so the next thing this actually is kind of not an impulse but my youngest son was with me my two-year-old and they love fries and I don't want to always go out and take them out for fries. So we just happened to come across this big bag. It's a five pound bag for $4.99. Basically, we just bake it and have fries at home. We don't always, actually rarely do we buy, buy big bags of fries. But I was like, hey, why not? So we just got this big bag of fries to put in our freezer. Then I also got a bag of M&Ms just again for treats or for sometimes, I don't know, for like little things like putting inside of a thank you card or anything like that. Just like a little something and these were a dollar for the whole bag um and then i also got these mini peanut butter whole grain crackers these were again i think like a dollar 49 for this whole thing and there's six packages in each one the next thing i also got were these um Ooh. again we don't always buy oh sophia say hi <laughs> hi i have to eat some we gotta wait next thing i got again we don't always have macaroni and cheese because i'm kind of picky about i guess what kind of cheese ingredient it is or whatever it's one of those things for me um so sometimes when they do see it and it's more like the actual cheese and like organic and whole wheat things like that that are a little bit better again macaroni and cheese is just kind of a quick convenience food but if i can try and make it a little bit better so these were i think a dollar each so i got two boxes just to have on hand for you guys know like kind of just really quick fast lunches so i got that the last thing, which was not a food item, so at my discount store, depending which one you go to, they will also have non-food items. So I actually, my son, my oldest, is very into cars, everything with cars. And so I just happened to see these. They are um, Valentine's, and they do Valentine's in his class. So these were a dollar for the Valentine's and the car stickers. I believe they were a dollar, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I got those for him if he wanted to use them for his class. So, but that is everything here and for my total for everything that i got again with all the produce and everything it was 62 dollars um which i think in my opinion compared to where we are in the cost of produce and things is a very good deal considering the amount of produce we also got as well as everything else so it was 62 dollars for everything here but i hope you guys enjoy these and again subscribe if you'd like to see more grocery haul and also i've been sharing some meal prep videos i will have some other content as well like uh going up soon if you guys are interested so maybe the food hauls and food stuff is not your boat and you're like tanya why are you only making food stuff stay tuned there will be more videos but this is just kind of what i've been <laughs> doing lately so hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the next video bye everyone